The title of the project that I will be describing today is The Health Dimension of Asian Migration to Europe. The conceptualization of the project started in September 2010 when I presented a paper in a conference sponsored by the European Commission. Informal meetings with the health policy makers, this meeting was attended by the health policy makers for the constituent countries in Europe. And informal meetings with them indicated their increasing concern about the family reunification law, which was reenacted in 2005. And this enabled the family members of migrants who have stayed in the countries to sponsor their family members and become citizens in Europe. And the major problem would be the resurgence of infectious and communicable diseases which they have controlled sometime in the 1960s and they are particularly wary about tuberculosis. Hence, they, there was a felt need to undertake a study on the health situation of the migrants in Europe and how the health programs can be responsive to their felt needs. And what are the highlights of these findings? From the migrants' perspectives, there are several issues that were raised. First is the lack of knowledge of the health system and how to access it. They bewail the bureaucratic procedures entailed in obtaining the health card that will enable them to seek these services. But the most important one is the communication barrier, the language barrier, because they cannot express clearly the symptoms and the problems that they are encountering. And secondly, they get frustrated because the providers themselves could not be understood in terms of the diagnosis and the prescribed management. Another issue would be the myths and misperceptions and rumors perpetuated by the other Filipinos regarding the incompetence of the health service providers because they said that there were cases wherein there have been so-called malpractices and when the Filipinos returned to the Philippines, they were corrected. We had four dissemination seminars one in Barcelona, in Spain, another one in Milan, where they launched the big report. And the policymakers were invited to react to the findings of the studies. And there were two meetings in the Philippines where the Filipino policymakers and some of the migrants and groups, other groups, were invited. Secondly, we did a policy advocacy tool called Policy Brief where we highlighted the results of this study and asked the policymakers in Europe at least to provide support and training for cultural competency, the language, and the involvement of the migrants group for health promotion and prevention. And finally, a health booklet was prepared which corrected or provided information regarding the concerns that these migrants raised. The answer is really to fight for integration of these migrants so that they can be sort of incorporated in the system, in the country, and that will be better for these Filipino migrants.